We're going to prove that the integral of f of x dx from negative r to r is equal to zero for f of x is odd. Now to prove this, well, let's copy the left-hand side. We have uh, the integral of f of x with respect to x from negative r to positive r. And since uh, we have the negative and a positive limits, then we can use the property of integral uh, number one, which is f of x dx from negative r to zero plus zero to r f of x with respect to x. So in this case, uh, we will be we will be uh, integrating or simplifying the, the first term. We have, let's say this is our integral one and is our integral two. So we have integral one is equal to uh, f of x dx negative r to zero is equal to now here, uh, we can use another property of integral, which is this. This becomes f of x dx uh, zero to negative r minus, since we interchange the position of the upper and the lower limits. Now, in this case, if we're going to observe, uh, the upper limit is negative r. So zero to negative r or negative r to zero. So which means that all of the possible values of uh, x's here are negative. So in this case, uh, we can replace the x by negative r's or negative x's such that we could have a negative or yeah, negative r after we integrate this expression. So this becomes negative f of negative x with respect to negative x, so that's negative dx, and zero, and the r here becomes positive since we already placed the negative signs on the uh, value of x here or on the domain. So to simplify this one, let's proceed to the next slide. So let's just copy. So that's negative r f of negative x and negative dx. So this is this becomes f of or the integral of f of negative x dx zero to r. And since f of negative x or f is an odd function, we know that its property is f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So applying this property, we have uh, f, uh, the integral of negative f of x with respect to x from zero to r, okay? And this becomes negative f of x dx from zero to r. Now this is our ice or the interval, I mean the integral one. And let's now combine integral one and integral two. So integral one plus integral two is equal to uh, the negative of the integral of f of x dx from zero to r plus the integral of f of x dx from zero to r. Since the, okay, the functions are the same and the, the limits are also the same, then we could add them up or combine and this becomes zero. So we know we have proven that the integral of f of x dx uh, from negative r to r is equal to zero. That's it.